Nagbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Kasama pa rin natin si Congressman Colmenares. We were talking about this pork barrel. Now, I want to know what is the status po of the People's Initiative against the pork barrel? Kasi na nasa Pilipinas pa ako nung nangyayari lahat ng mga rally mm -hmm. sa Pilipinas. Ha? Ang daming lumabas talaga pumunta yes. sa Luneta. Merong pang nakakostume na may baboy na ulo. Yes, yes. ba? So, what are, yes, well, what are we doing uh, about that? Since the bill will not pass Congress, there is a provision in our Constitution, which is a very rare provision. I don't mm. see it anywhere in other jurisdictions, actually, which says that once, if Congress will not pass a law that the people want pass, the people, through a people's initiative, can pass their own law. I, it's, I think it's similar here in California. You have a people's initiative here, but not to the federal level. Okay. This, this time around, it's a national law. So what does it entail? 10% of the registered voters in the Philippines signs a petition, and once it's signed, COMELEC should set a referendum uh, within 45 to 90 days. And then under the Constitution, it says there will be one question, one answer. Simple. Do you approve of the bill by the People's Initiative to abolish the pork barrel system? Once majority of the voters say yes, that's it the bill is passed into law. Congress cannot amend it. The president cannot veto it. It's the sovereign power of the people. Well, this is good to know. Yes. Now, my question is, anong magagawa ng ating mga kababayan dito? Yes. Sa uh, America, uh, how can we campaign for good governance for our Philippine government? Yes, well, we have a copy of the petition in the website, or I can lend, you know, leave one here. All we need is the signature of the voters. Uh, if you're a dual citizen, for example, you're a voter in the Philippines, and I'm asking our Kababayans here to also register for the elections of 2016, then you can sign in the petition. Once we get 10% of the total number of registered voters, which is roughly about 5.2 million signatures, and even our Kababayans here can sign on that because they're voters too in the Philippines. Okay. Then the referendum is set. So, okay, so I know for a fact that having this pork barrel kawawa ang mga Pilipino talaga. Kasi to think that yung hard-earned money nila ay eh, pupunta sa mga hindi natin alam eh, di ba? Kung, kung kanil-kanino pumupunta. Actually, G, very good point. No? But not only Filipinos there in the Philippines, but even here. Yes. And imagine, kung ang pera na yun napunta sa ospital, sana hindi na malaki ipapadala yung pera sa kamag-anak doon. Tama. Once they, they go to, you know, to the hospital. And uh, Filipinos actually want to go home to the Philippines. They want reforms. They don't want to go home to a Philippines or retire in the Philippines, a corruption-ridden country, you know. So I guess the issue of reforms and the elimination of pork barrel is also something that our Kababayans here in the U.S. can be or should be interested in. Okay. And the elimination of which would go a long way in helping Absolutely. reform the country. Absolutely. Okay, so I encourage all the Kababayans, if you want to get a copy of the petition, you can email us at kababayan at la18.tv. You will leave us instructions yes. on how to do that. And if you have not registered with the Philippine consulate, please do so. Para naman, you know, our voices can be heard. Yes. Miski nandito Okay, so let's talk about another topic altogether. We heard that your bill increasing for 2,000 pesos a month, the pension of the SSS or Social Security System, uh, the members have already passed in Congress. This is good news. Tell us naman about the challenges that you faced in fighting the increase. Well, Not 2,000 pesos lang, ha? that's roughly, wala pang $50. Yes, well, it's very difficult because uh, SSS the, doesn't want the pension increased. But the problem is, many of our kamag-anaks in the Philippines, they receive 1,200 pesos a month in pension. Can you imagine, G? How, um, how can you live on you that? You can't live on that. Maintenance medicine alone, ubus na yan. Oh, oh that's only what? 1,200 is $30, 30 dollars. less than $30. Dollars. Month, no? So we've been saying, increase it. No? And secondly, Bakit ayaw ng SSS? Well, they say, you know, we ma 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 bankrupt kami. The, you know, the life, the actuarial life of SSS will be shortened to the year 2020. And so there will be an unfunded liability. And we were saying, look, their total assets is 428 billion pesos. <laughs> and they're earning an average of 30 billion pesos in their investment income, my SSS, mm -hmm. 30 billion pesos a year. In fact, this year they earned 43 billion pesos. So where would it go? An unfunded liability, the, if in our research, the U.S. social security system has an unfunded liability of $13 trillion. Oh my goodness. And your actuarial life is up to 2033. So meaning to say, hindi naman masyadong malayo. You fund the 2,000 peso increase, 
pag-isipan natin kung saan tayo kukuha ng pondo for the 2029, eh matagal pa Baka yun. kung na-abolish na itong pork barrels yes. uh, system, baka pwede natin i-funnel doon, di ba? That's a very good point. Uh -oh. Rather than spend it and divert it to the pockets of corrupt politicians, why don't you spend it on the pension? No? Exactly. And many of our kababayan sometimes, because they work in the Philippines for eight years siguro, they're members of the SSS there. Yes. So they can maintain that or pay the, you know, uh -oh. self-employed, you know, and they become pensioners too. And they can just, you know, may mga kilala ako na ang pension nila sa SSS, doon lang nagsustore. And if ako mag-anak goes to the hospital or something, nila bawas na lang doon because mm -hmm. you know, 4,000 a month, for example. After 10 months, 40,000 na rin yun, di ba? Uh -oh. My question is naman, what is the impact of these measures for OFWs or overseas Filipino workers? Ang malaki, kasi pag tumaas ang pension, all of us, Tatanda rin tayo ba lang uh -oh. araw, di ba? Uh -oh. So, we become pensioners too. So, it's good that the pension is increased substantially before before we, re we retire. So that when we retire, we can ask demand for a higher uh, pension rather uh -oh. than 2,000. Okay. Magbabalik tayo dito sa Kababayan Today. Pinag-uusapan natin ang mga issue sa Pilipinas. Uh, we'll be right back with Congressman Colmenares.